guys hear me okay? Not yet. If I don't turn this one off. Hey, there you go. Hello, everyone. Pepe Marola here. Thank you so much for following. Um, in my previous video, I was talking about how important is the technique. So it wasn't really an instructional or a free uh, drum tips. But I would like to um, share with you also today, since it's been um, a few days that I didn't go live, and share any of the free drum tips. Some people out there right now, they're having dinner. So I wish you guys a wonderful evening. See, here in California, it's 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. In the East Coast, it will be 7.30. You might be done with your dinner. Some people starting right now. So, but anyway, I can keep you guys company. In different part of the world, it might be very early in the morning. Like Japan and China, very early in the morning. So I would like to um, say hello to everyone. My name is Pepe Merola. Thank you so much for following. I'll be talking about brushes today. I love brushes. I wish I could practice more brushes, but uh, very um, challenging and very important to practice brushes now people usually they ask the same and the usual question which is pepe what do you practice with brushes well so here it is i'm going to share with you what i usually do when i practice with brushes and why and why and why that's it you know so i usually practice whatever i practice with drumsticks i will practice with brushes all the rudiments single double paradiddle and as I practice, you know, with, um, hold on, somebody's writing. Let me read this message. Watch you from Philippines. Hello. Hi. What time is it in the in, uh, Philippines right now? So as I said, like I was saying, I practice whatever I practice with sticks. I will practice with brushes. I might add different things to it, like, you know, how to practice the brushing. Which that's very important. Hello, Paul. Full horn. Oh, in Philippines, it's like 8 o'clock, um, 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay, good morning. So the brushing, which is very important, especially if you play ballad. It's very important how to play, to practice the brushing. I usually, what I do, what I usually do with brushing, first of all, brushes, they never, you know, go in the same direction all the time. You know, they go in the opposite directions. So if I'm going like this with the right hand, I might go like this with the left hand. Okay, and then you can work on, um, on the quarter notes, for example, even when you play brushes, when you do, uh, excuse me, when, you, when you're brushing, one, playing an accent on every one, two, three, playing an accent on every quarter note. 
or you can play break, you can play an accent on every uh, half a note. So the most important thing is this, in the, going in the circle way. With the right hand, with the right hand or with the left hand. You know, uh, do you guys remember the, 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 the wipers? When it rains, you're driving the car, you turn on the wipers, right? So... Same thing, opposite direction. With the right hand, do the same thing with the left hand. Now you put them together. So once you got this done, once you got it done and you get familiar, you can start playing, you know, the usual, the swing feel, for example. The left hand is taking care of brush, the brushing. See? So if you guys have any question, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to uh, help or answer your question. If you guys have an opinion or different ways to, uh, you know, play brushes, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to hear your approach to brushes. You know? So I just wanted to start from the basic, the very basic you know, which it's very important. That's why we call it brushes. You know, we need brushes. When you play a ballad, you need to know how to brush. See? That's one. Okay, and like I said, I practice with brushes. Whatever I practice with, with the sticks, I practice with, uh, with the brushes. Hello, Kanyeta. Kanyeta, how you doing? Okay, Paul. When you play uh, more like a, a rhythm, that kind of thing, let me show you a question. Okay, do you play the same when you play a samba? It depends. It really it depends. You know, you can have, uh, you can also play brushes and brushing at the same time you play, you know, a samba. The brushes can work as a, as a shaker if you want to. There's many ways. I'm going to show you a different ways to, uh, to play a samba with brushes, for example. There are so many ways. One, two, uh, 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 one. Then there's also this other type of samba. And it's all related to uh, what the bass player also is playing. If the bass player is playing... <laughs> 
Ciao Stefano. So, but there was also, you know, you can play brush and a stick, for example. See that? Good question, by the way. Good question. You know, and if you play slower, it would be, which that will more, that it's more related, would be more like of a bossa. And the right hand brushing like that. So if that's the tempo, one, two, three, four, one. Let me, let me get the metronome, I'll show you. Um, this case. So, there you go. That's a metronome. You can play 60 notes with the brushes, okay? That will, you know, it kind of sound like you're playing the shaker. And then you play the, the clave with the left hand. Or you can play three to club it, which is okay, or you can just play this. No, <clears throat> there's so many ways, so many ways, so many stars. <laughs> Stefano, ma veramente me lo auguro. No, non interrompi, è sempre un piacere sentirti. Uh, veramente me lo auguro una masterclass concerto ma speriamo che ce lo fanno fare perché purtroppo come stanno le cose purtroppo il covid sta creando un sacco di I'm sorry guys but I, I my dear friend Stefano Stefano uh, is watching from Italy and uh, I love him he's a great friend he's a great great guy and um, you know he asked me a question so I gotta speak in Italian for a second so Stefano come dicevo devi pensare che Qui le cose non stanno bene, il Covid sta aumentando in America, stiamo in una situazione un attimino molto delicata. E mi auguro che per l'anno prossimo veramente, veramente ce lo fanno fare, perché guarda è impossibile. Già dovevo venire quest'anno um, uh, per uh, il CD release tour uh, di Happy Times, il mio nuovo disco, ma purtroppo ho dovuto rimandare tutto. Ho dovuto rimandare tornare in Messico... In New York, Philadelphia, in California, 
po' da tutte le parti e poi venivo in Italia, in Europa. Ho dovuto rimandare il tutto. Speriamo il bene, veramente, speriamo il meglio, perché non ce la faccio più. Poi, non solo, a parte la musica di venire in Italia, in suonare, incontrare eh, you know, chi mi segue, stare col pubblico, avere l'emozione di nuovo, provare queste emozioni così eh, veramente densa per noi musicisti, e tu lo sai, perché eh, a te piace la musica. Quindi uh, poi fai suoni, quindi sai, capisci esattamente insomma, quello che purtroppo noi stiamo attraversando in questo periodo eh, fa molto male, non uh, viaggiare, non vedere le persone, non avere contatto con il pubblico, quindi veramente io mi auguro, veramente mi auguro che possiamo viaggiare di nuovo e, e suonare, ma a parte quello incontrare amici come te e soprattutto la mia famiglia, non li vedo da tre anni, ti lascio immaginare. Quindi, i miei parenti, mamma e papà. Quindi, speriamo bene. Ok, Paul. Uh, so, any other question, Paul? Um, like I said, I, uh, I practice all the rudiments with brushes. First of all, because it's very challenging. And the reason for that is because, you know, there's not much rebounds. So you kind of develop even better technique. You, you are reinforcing your technique when you play with, you know, with sticks. You can. You have to really push it, especially on the rebounds. Okay, so I do practice all the rudiments with brushes, and there is a rhythm for that. There is, a, excuse me, <laughs> the rhythm. There is a reason for that. First of all, it's not just about the swing music. You know, in any style of music, you know, we apply those rudiments uh, in a musical way, of course. That is the key. Uh, that's my, you know, that's the idea. So, um, even if we play a pop song, okay, or a pop ballad, Uh -oh. So, having a good brush technique will allow us to um, to play certain things, kind of like a you know, kind of like a uh, cool things, kind of like this. For example, okay, like creating a nice groove. I was over exaggerating right now just to show you all different things that you can do with it. But again, I don't suggest you guys to show up in the studio, recording studio, or on the bandstand st starting, you know, to um, <laughs> play all different bunch of things just because you um, practice this haram. You know, if you want to apply certain things, just make sure that you create a nice groove. Costintance. Costintant. Costistency. Constant, a nice solid groove.
And then again, it, it's all about what you're playing in the band, the situation that you play in the band on the bandstand, the musician that you work with. You know, it. You know, you can uh, once you have a good technique and a good creativity. You know, we. Uh, you'll see. You. You will. You will be able to see outside of the box. So, in other words, you can create your own your own um, uh, patterns, your own rhythms. You know, if you listen to what's happening rhythmically on a bandstand. You know. See, there is so much you can do, you know? So let's see if I can find this piece. Um, it's a nice tune, actually. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, I think I did. I think I was able to find it. It's a, um, let's see. Let's see if you guys can hear this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Home busy? Is that a home busy? No, I don't think so. Uh, having some fun. Here it is. I want. That's what it is, having some fun. And the cool thing about this is that you can also, um, it's beautiful, I can also uh, mute the drums. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's play it. I want... It's always very important. Very important to um, to please the music. Like if you're playing jazz music, in this case, that you support the music. It's like, in other words, you're driving the bus. use the technique those are all tools actually the technique is not other than a bunch of tools Support the music.
be relaxed and please the music that's what's about This song is the right tempo, great composition by Bob Mincer, and the great Peter Eskin recorded on these tracks, all those tracks. You can uh, find this app on your app store, on your, uh, on your cell phone or computer. You can download can download this beautiful app, great arrangement that comes with the mixer. You can mute any instrument. Anyway, having some fun. It's a great one. Um, so let's see the app, the app name, main menu. Let's see. Let me find the app name. Uh, tell you right away. Give me a second. Let me find. It. <laughs> okay, the Mincer Big Band, Bob Mincer Big Band, and and voila, it's only like doesn't cost that much. And you know, gray music also. The 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 all the charts comes with all the charts that you can print it out. And any instrument can be a trombone player for tr trumpet players. Any instrument, you can you will have you will see you get the mixer that you can mute each track of each instrument and you can play with it and have fun. So. Again, hey. Hello, Paul. Uh, yes, Bob Mincer Big Band. Check it out on your app, on your phone. It's very good. I love it. Um, uh, actually, I didn't know about this one, but uh, the great Peter Eskin told me. Um, a few months back, we uh, had a... Um, he was one, you know, he was a, a guest on my uh, show, Pepe Marol and Friends. I had many great drummers, you know, and uh, Peter was one of them. And he was telling me about those, you know, tracks, and I really enjoyed it. I got it right away. It was cool. So, now, like I was saying, I practice all the rudiments <coughs> with brushes. We talk about brushing. Talk about the ballad, like the wipers of the car when you play medium string. Hands go in opposite ways. Okay, then you can get fancy with it. 
you know, if you know polyrhythm, uh, and you know, if you know about music, polyrhythm, I'm going to repeat that again. You can do many stuff, many stuff with brushes. Kind of like you can play medium swing. Okay. You can play with the left hand. You can fill in some quarter notes triplets. One, two, three, four, one, two. See all the stuff. You know, I also like to practice, and I got this from uh, Jeff Hamilton, another great drummer. Double stroke roll, for example. You can study, practice any of those rudiments on the sideways, like it gives you a thinner sound, you know. Like you can get this sound, it's a full sound. You can uh, obtain a different sound by wiping it side to side, you know. There's so much you can do with it. What I just did it was just like, you know, make this motion and you can obtain this. Hello, Lionel. So if you guys have any questions, please do so. And I see a lot of people watching right now. I would love to say hello to everyone. I would love to say, uh, to uh, talk to you guys and knowing where you guys are watching from. Thanks for following my, uh, my videos. My name is Pepe Merola. Follow my uh, profile, um, Facebook profile, also the fan page, Pepe Merola fan page. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my website at www.pepemarola.com and also my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and subscribe. Uh, there's a lot of videos there for you guys to enjoy. So, So I'm going to go again, I'm going to refresh the whole thing, I'm um, going to repeat, make a very uh, summary of what we already did and what we talk about in this live video. The brushing, the wipers, all the rudiments that we practice with the sticks, I practice with brushes, I'll do the same thing. Paradiddle, double stroke roll, singles, you can also play flam paradiddle. I love it, you know, double paradiddle. 
once you have all those techniques done, you know, under your belt, you can create so much, so much with it. Even grooves that you never really practice in any books. You know, you can come up with your own grooves. You know, so there's so much you can do. Do you guys have any questions? Please let me know. Anthony Salvatore from Pennsylvania. Hello, Anthony. I love this pad, Anthony. Those are, I endorse uh, aquarium drum heads. And um, they were so nice, the aquarium drum company, uh, head, drum heads, you know, company, that they sent me the old set of aquarium super pad for the old set, they make this one, which I love because it's kind of soft, you know, it's kind of soft that you can play brush with it. Not all these sticks. Those are great. Yeah, through rebounds, I'm gonna show it to you guys. Right here. Still by uh, still by Aquarian. Aquarian through bounce. This is a little harder. It's unbelievable. See, it's, uh, you know, I was playing brushes for 40 minutes or whatever. Let me see for how long. Yeah. For the last 40 minutes, I was working on brushes, right? Now, like I said, the reason why I love practice with brushes, the same thing that I practice with sticks, is because, like I said, there's not much rebounds with brushes. So... There's not much rebounds with brushes, so you have to really push it. And you can, you know, it really helps to reinforce your finger technique. Raise them finger technique, I love it. I live in San Francisco. Hello, David. Hi. I am in... Um, Mellow Park, you're in San Francisco. Where are you located?
Latin rhythms, like I said. If you watch the video again, I played some lot of, a lot of you know uh, rhythms. Uh, so David, make sure that once this video is done, you go back and listen to it because I uh, played a demonstration of different Latin rhythms. Okay, with brushes, with brush and sticks. You can also add mallets. You can do brush with mallets or brush with sticks. You know, and the most important thing is knowing the parts. I'm going to give you a little demonstration of that. Like if you know the part of a shaker. Unfortunately, I cannot play the bass drum here. I have my drum set is right behind me. But anyway, you can do a lot with it, you know. See, now, in order to keep those, those 16th note with the brushes, you know, like, if you play a song, it's not going to last one minute. A song will last at least four or five minutes, right? It depends. Sometimes it can be like nine minutes. <laughs> so um, I was using push and pull technique. I was applying push and pull technique, which, you can, which that allows you, allows me and anybody else who plays and, you know, and develop this technique, the, you know, uh, allows you to play 16 notes, you know, for as long as you want. Like. Sometimes it's too much, so it depends also the music situation that you're playing in. You know, sometimes you don't need to play 16 notes like that. You just need to play maybe a, you have to break, break it down because musically it works better for the music that you're playing. So you can break it down by, by playing eight notes to 16. Or play the vice versa, you know, the reverse of it to 16 and 8 notes. Okay, there's so much you can do with it. You can also play brush and use the um, <laughs> that's funny and use the, uh, the snare right here underneath. You can use different techniques. You know, if you have a bass drum. Doom, 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 doom. so much you can do with it, you know.
There's so much you can do with it, you know. So, but to, again, to be able to do all this stuff, You need to have a good command of your instrument. You need to uh, know your technique. You know, that's one of the reasons why I always say you can, you know, if you have a creativity and you are born with it, then you need to practice, you know, your instrument in order to uh, feed your creativity, in order to challenge your creativity, you know? That's all for today. And I hope this little video was helpful for some of you guys out there in regard of brushes. I wish you guys all the best in the world. I'm going to say goodbye to all of you guys. Let me see. I'm going to read. Uh, try to get each one, of, each and every one of you there. Let's see. I see a lot of people writing. You're welcome, Anthony. So, Kenyatta Nance, hello. Kenyatta, Stefano, Paul. You know, thank you very much, guys, for following. Okay. Okay. Paul Piper. I love your last name. Okay. Anthony De Salvatore Jr. Ciao, Anthony. Please make sure you follow me on this page. David uh, Solis. So, all of you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm moving it. Shirov, Vilo Shirov. Where you, uh, where are you watching from, Shirov? Shirov Yaroslav. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm loving it. I thought you, you're moving it. Hello, Dixon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for following. Check out my uh, YouTube page. Um, follow me on YouTube, this page, my profile, my uh, Instagram, and uh, Facebook fan page. Uh, all the best. Keep drumming. Music is life. I hope you guys are all safe out there. Okay, Paul, that's a good hop. The Bob Mincer Big Band. On, I think it's on Fuzzy Music. You see on your hop, you know, just you can download and it's cheap, actually. For what it is, it's very cheap, okay? Um, oh, you're from Singapore. Oh, Singapore is beautiful. Good food also, as well. I love it. So anyway... I wish you guys are doing great. Stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, spend time with your family, keep playing music. You know, music is life. Don't you ever stop playing music. All the best. Pepe Merola here. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night.